But the weather is going to cooperate with your uh, with your travels today as well. No rain on the radar at all on the west coast, not yet. Things are going to change in about 24 to 36 hours time as this developing low here begins to slide south of the border into Washington State, and we get all this wraparound flow from it. It's going to be a very close call, but again, that's sometime later tomorrow. What we're looking at for today is a, a light shower or two in the Edmonton district, moving down through Calgary. Not a lot of rain because things actually begin to dry out. You'll also see a little bit of clearing at times through Regina. It looks like more clouds moving into Winnipeg. The rain comes tonight. The dastardly weather across the country. Is actually in southern Ontario. This wet weather maker has shoved aside the high pressure ridge and pushing rain, significant rainfall now into southern Ontario with weather warnings in effect for amounts on the order of 40 millimeters of rain around the Great Lakes. So 23 degrees with heavy thunderstorms around Toronto today. Looks like the rain will work its way into Montreal by afternoon and Ottawa as well. Quebec City sometime late overnight or tomorrow so it stays dry for the daylight hours under an increasingly cloudy sky. For Regina, a little sun here and there. For Edmonton, a break or two of sun in between those scattered showers. It'll be about 17 degrees in Calgary, 19 in Edmonton for today, and 20 right here close to home on the West Coast. We have some sun and some cloud without any rain for today. Now that change is starting tomorrow. I'm not certain exactly when it's going to happen, but I believe it comes very late in the day into the evening. So it's some Thursday night showers and thunderstorms, some Friday thunderstorms and only 17, and then not a complete washout for the weekend. More like 50-50 with the showers and the sunny breaks and near normal temperatures right around 19 degrees. Uh, Rias, good morning to you.